Hey guys, welcome to Sports Lovers Inc. Studios. I am your host, Owen Akurowski, and today we'll be doing MLB 2K12 30 Team Challenge. Last video of my summer break. Yeah, sucks. We did like 12 videos or something during the summer. Uh, we are today we're gonna be playing with the Houston Astros going up against the San Francisco Giants. And before we get into this commentary, I would like to say two things. One regarding the back to school thing. Um, during school, we will be uploading videos still. Don't worry about that. Or haters might be worrying. I don't know. But we won't be uploading videos as often, so people who hate me can rejoice, and people who like me, which is me, not even sure my mom likes me that much, will be sad. So, we will still be doing videos, don't worry about that, but not as frequently as now, because I have school, I have baseball, all that other stuff. And also, second thing I wanted to say, thank you Moonlight Swami for answering our question on uh, YouTube, when I asked him, what, how do I, I mean, how do I get groups like Machinima or Game Face Studios to add me. He responded to that question. Thank you so much. You know, Tommy, for answering the question. Be sure to check out his channel, even though he's more popular than me. Please, because he's amazing. He is such a good baseball commentator, baseball player. And I don't even like football, but the way he plays. He makes me like it, football a little, which is cool. And yeah, so today we'll be talking about the Houston Astros. For those of you who don't know, the Houston Astros are, is an MLB team located in Houston, Texas. They're part of the NL Central. And fun fact, they are moving to the AL West in 2013 to be part of the division with the Texas Rangers. LA Angels, Mariners, and A's. I think another tough division. Around the, board. the Cardinals, Reds, Brewers, Pirates. They're all good teams. So, for, him, for them, they're going to be smelling maybe the bottom of the division again. Mmm, water. I love water. Water should sponsor me. I'll be freaking rich. Or maybe they will. I don't know how sponsor is work. What I do know in the Hunger Games, yep, sponsors are cool there, because they give you stuff, I think, I'm not sure. Anyways, I'm getting off topic. Um, they play in Minute Maid Park, which will soon be changed to another park once they move to the AOS. Maybe they'll just start the same park, I have no idea. Minute Maid Park, it's the Hitter's Park, and over there... Franchise career, they've also played in something called the Astrodome, and they also played in Cult Stadium. And in 1962 to 1964, they were the Cult 4500ths, I don't know. And from 1965 to 1970, they played indoors in the Astrodome. And, from, and we skip ahead to 2000 to 2004. They developed a retractable roof for unpredictable weather in Houston. Every time someone hit a home run that was a Houston Astro, a locomotive moved across the after and would whistle. The shooting star logo was also developed in 2000 to 2004. And also, during that span, the Houston Astros added Andy, Pennett, Andy Pettit with Lance Berkman and Jeff Kent, Bagwell, Bigel, and Roger Clemens. They were also the early 2004 favorites to win the annual pennant. But they were 44 and 44, and even 500 at the Oslo break. However, after the break, they were 46 and 26 to become 90 and 70, and they were able to become the wild card winners. The wild card winners when they were in the playoffs, they beat the Braves 3-2 to the NLDS, and then they lost to the St. Louis Cardinals in the NLCS. Clemens was um, the Cy Young winner, and they also added Beltron midway through the season, and he had eight homers in the pro in the playoffs. However, Carlos Beltron then decided to sign with 
New York Mets. And Lance Berkman stayed with Houston, stuff like that. And later, those two would be playing together. But none other than my favorite team, St. Louis Cardinals. Yeah, now I'm going to be talking about the 2005 World Series birth. In 2005, they were once again among the favorites to win the World Series. But however, in late May, they were 15 and 30 with the 15 games under 500. But then from that point in late May till July, to, well, till July, Houston was 42 and 17 and they found themselves on top of the NLL club. And then in July, they were 22 and 7, which is a single month record or the franchise record for them. 2005, their pitchers were Roy Oswalt, who was 20 and 12 with a 2.94 ERA. Andy Pettit with a 17 and 9, uh, who was 17 and 9 with a 2.39 ERA. And Roger Clemens, who was 13 and 8 with a 1.87 ERA, the lowest in the MLB. And they made it to the playoffs as um, not, once again wild card winners in the NLDS they beat Atlanta again, this time three to one. And the game four and game four of that series was the most innings in the postseason with eighteen, most players used by a single team with twenty three, and longest game which was five hours and fifteen minutes. Those were postseason records. And in the NLCS they played the St. Louis Cardinals again and this time they came out on top, winning the series 4-2. And in the World Series, they played the Chicago White Sox. And uh, they got swept by the Chicago White Sox. And in the Game 3 was the longest game in World Series history, which was 5 hours 11 minutes. And yeah, they got swept. And since then, they have never made the playoffs. And last year, they have they had the worst record in baseball of for 50 games under 500 and this year they might as well beat that again giving their home crowd some love before they go they have the worst record again in baseball so hold on a sec water water please sponsor me mm. some good water <laughs> so the Houston Astros have a very, very young team, and they are currently, you guys haven't guessed, in the rebuilding mode with all the young talent that they have. Their best hit, surprisingly, they have three pitchers who have uh, better batting averages than their positional players, but then again, these pitchers don't have many at-bats. And even though it, they don't count for any statistics or anything, they are the only players with a batting average over 300 on the Houston Astros team. And their stats are 1,000 or 1, as people would say, or perfect 1. Five, they're hitting also 500, or they're his, hitting 333. Their batters now, they're currently the best batters, are Jose Altuve. He leads the team in batting average. Carlos Lee and Chris Johnson used to be key players for them, but they traded Carlos Lee to the Miami Marlins and Chris Johnson to the Arizona Diamondbacks, so they don't play there anymore. They have Carlos Corporan, who's second on the team in batting average. Ben Wallace, who's good too. Jed Lowry leads the team in the home runs with 14, and J.D. Martinez has 13 home runs as well. Pitchers, they have some mm, okay pitchers, really. They have... Lucas Harrell, who's probably their ace. They used to have uh, Wendy Rodriguez as an okay pitcher, but now he pitches for the Pittsburgh Pirates. They have Jordan Lyles, who's one of the youngest pitchers in the MLB, and maybe he can be someone good, but right now he has like a 5.62 year rate, maybe. I don't know, something like that. And uh, Wilton Lopez has the most saves on the team with two, but. They had a good closer who had 14 saves, but they traded him away to another team. And their current statistics, they are 28th in batting average as a team, with 23rd in home runs. They are last in runs batted in, with 29th in hits, and in team strikeouts, they are first.
in the pitching category, they are 27th in ERA. They are last in saves because they have the least number of wins. They're fourth in earned runs allowed. They're third in home runs allowed or fourth in home runs allowed. I don't know. They're 28th in opponent batting average. They're 23rd in case and they're third in hits allowed. And on defense, they're fifth in errors because they have the top five in errors committed. And yeah. Uh, maybe one day the Houston Astros will be a good team. And we might never know. I am currently losing the game 5-0 to the San Francisco Giants. I honestly did not enjoy playing for the Houston Astros. Except I like Jose Altuve, which is the only person in the team I like. Honestly. Um, so... Alex Gonzalez or something strikes out to end the game. Matt Kane goes the distance of nine innings of one run ball. Good for him, good to my opponent. I, Matt Kane was also MVP. I do not have a win yet in uh, this on 0 and 2. And my next game, well, don't worry, I have, a, I have a win in my next few games. I, I believe I have a win. I hope so. Funny how whenever I do a recording, I always suck. But when I never do a recording, I somehow score a lot of runs. It's true. Even though my offense sucks in like all of the videos. And yeah. Even when it comes to Halo, maybe I suck at Halo when I do it. Uh, commentary, but when it comes to uh, when I don't play, and when I play with my friends, I dominate. I get like 15, 16 kills. Anyways, this concludes the video. We are just stats. Uh, Matt came did really well. Uh, if you like the video, please leave a like. Subscribe for more. If anyone watches my videos, please, someone watch the videos. And as I said, that's full notes. Won't be uploading many videos. And if anyone watches our videos and wants to see more, please subscribe. And Want to see random videos uploaded on this site? 